And this isn't going to be, this isn't going to be super long, but just, um, so we can record this and I, I could send it to you afterwards. And then I got to charge my, where's my phone? Thank you. You hear me? Can you hear me on the thing? I think you'll be able to hear me on the uh, on the recording as well. Can you hear me on the Zoom call? All right, I'm gonna hang up the phone then. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. okay. Yes. Now. Okay. We okay. Go. Now we're on, Abril, we're on. Um, sorry. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? There we go. This is what I wanted. Okay, so I'm, I'm recording this, and I'll send this to you afterwards, okay? Okay, thank you. Um, so basically, and let's see if I could even make this better, because we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to get some knowledge right here. We're going to get some knowledge right here. Um, boom, boom, let's go drive, let's go new, let's go Google, oh wait, can you see my screen? Do you see my screen? Yes. All right, so we're going to go nutrition 101, and we're just going to go um, macro nutrients and micronutrients all right boop, boop, boop. Mm -hmm. cool. so basically all foods all calories come from macronutrients not micronutrients So macronutrients oh, one word. macro so micronutrients let's just go micro we'll do this first because we're not going to talk about this too much but mm -hmm. micronutrients will be like and we can go over micronutrients later but that's like later when we you know right now mm -hmm. we're more focused on the macros so micros are like vitamin A right Vitamin B, C, oh, I B, all those things. Um, mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, you can kind of consider water a micronutrient. Like, there's no calories in it, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Macronutrients are fats, carbs, protein. Right? Mm hmm. So those are the things that have calories, the only things that have calories fats, carbs, and proteins. So when it comes to, because we want to focus on proteins first, right? Because that's what we're, mm -hmm. we kind of have our proteins and fiber, right? I'll talk mm -hmm. about fiber in a second. Fiber comes from good carbs. But I'll talk about protein first. Mm -hmm. So protein is um, what I like to, what we what they call branch chain amino acid or BCAA. Have you heard mm -hmm. of that before? It yes. Like supplements like BCAA supplements. Yeah, I heard. Of, I mean, yeah, a little bit of knowledge. So there's eight different branch chain amino acids. And uh, a protein, when it has a protein, it's a complete, it's all eight of them. Um, sometimes you could buy a supplement, like I have supplements here that are good for recovery. So I have my fish oils in there. You see that? I have my fish oils, which are the little stinky mm -hmm. ones. These are, these are the PU. These are the PU ones. These stink, but oh. they have the fatty acids. It smells like fish. I don't know if you like fish, no, they smell good. But, uh, and then these are the these ones are the branch chain amino acids, but it's only one of them. It's L-glutamine. 
So mm-hmm. a full protein would have eight different ones. Would have L glutamine, L leucine, um, L valine, or I think it's valine, but it has eight of them. Now, mm-hmm. the things that have complete proteins are meats, right? Chicken, turkey, all meats, because in order for mm-hmm. the meat to have like muscle, it needs to have the complete protein. So like a fish is very lean; it has mostly muscle. It's swimming around all, so it has you know a lot of protein. Um, when you go eat like a beef, right? Like a cow, they have a little fat mm-hmm. in them. So it has protein and fat. Um, trying to think of uh, beans and rice is a complete protein because beans has some of the proteins. Rice has some of the other proteins that it doesn't have. But when you combine beans and rice, you get a full protein. Um, I believe whatever they make tofu out of for the, for vegans and vegetarians, I don't mm-hmm. know what exactly is in there, but that's complete protein as well. Um, and then there's, you know, there's, uh, there's different kinds of pea proteins. Um, there's a uh, dairy has proteins. It also has fat, fats as well. Um, but these are basically the main sources of protein mm-hmm. that we'll be eating. So when you have uh, um, a string cheese that has a little dairy because it's cheese, it'll have some protein, it'll have some fats, but it won't have any carbs because carbs yeah. come from the ground, right? Like corn. Oh. She. bread which is which is basically wheat right it's wheat mm-hmm. that they make into powder and they make into bread mm-hmm. um sugar right sugar comes from from um sugar sticks or sugar cane um mm-hmm. so sugar is a what i like i mean it's a a fast acting carb so you know when you drink a lot of sugar you have a lot of energy Um, whereas wheat is more of a slow digesting carb. Corn is a little bit slow digesting as well. The thing about slow digesting carbs is if we're not using them, they get stored as fat. Mm. Right. So, um, that will be the next one we go over is fats, but basically, you know, corn, bread or wheat, sugar, um vegetables right because that comes from the ground Mm -hmm. fruits all these are of carbs now the carbs we want equal Mm -hmm. high fiber low sugar so it's Mm -hmm. very easy these days to be processed foods to add sugar to add the carbs Almost everything that we drink, I don't want to pull it out of the fridge, but you, I mean, I'll, I'll just go to the fridge, <laughs> but you can see, I'll just pull out some drinks, obviously carbs, right? Coke, yeah. Diet Coke even has stuff in it to minus the carbs, but it still has carbs in it. Um, tortillas carbs right yeah um apple comes from the ground or a tree Mm -hmm. carbs um hot fudge i don't even know why it's in there carbs (laughs) (laughs) i don't know why there's hot fudge in there Um, yeah right (laughs) 20 grams so 20 grams of carbs and 15 of it or 16 of it is sugars so only four of these are really good carbs, four out of 20, which is not good. But yeah. let's grab this 21 whole grain bread, and it says 22 grams of carbs mm-hmm. and five sugar. So that's good because not the majority of it's not sugar. And then it has five grams of fiber. That's good as well. What do you think about the fiber cereal of the Trader Joe's cells? Um, I think it's for you right now. It's great. 
Okay. I think eventually over time we'll probably move, we'll want to move on to maybe like more oatmeal. Yeah. Okay. Even though oatmeal is not as, you know, good probably, but um, there's like, there's steps, you know, there's steps to it. Yeah. But how much, do you know how much fiber that has? I can tell you now. Yeah. Let me know. I'll go and grab it. Perfect. I mean, I stopped taking it like the last with the smoothies, which, you know, is there handy for me. Uh -huh. But I was just wondering because, you know, I, I'm trying with the, the diabetes and that too. It's 23 grams of carbs, 9 grams of fiber. What's the serving size? Or, what, oh, that's the other thing. What, the the, the serving size. Sorry. Can you see good. Um, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm going to enlarge this real quick. Oh, so 80 calories, serving size, two to three cups. So you probably have, if you're pouring this into a bowl, you're probably having two of these. So it's probably 160. It's probably 46. Five, oh, five grams of sugar. Nice, nice. 23 grams. Well, I, I do measure it. And I have, when I have done it, I do 1.5 portions. Okay. Oh, so if you're measuring, that's good then. That's yeah, good. yeah. No, no, no. If not, I can just go and I cannot eyeball that. But most, kind of most people, most people, as you know, do that. I cannot. I mean, with the protein and that kind of things, with the vegetables, I'm like, those are not so bad. So I, I try not to obsess with it. I mean, it's my plate, but it's not like, oh, it has to be six ounces of vegetables. Like, no, I don't like to do that. <laughs> right. That's good. Okay, good. No worries. No worries. But as long as you know the serving size, because that is huge too. Most people don't even look at the serving size. No, no, no. I, I, I do look. Um, when I'm like really wanting to change, I obviously look. Good. Good. Well, that's, that's better than 80% of people already. So, so that's carbs for you. So it, basically you just want to make sure that whatever the carb is, it has low sugar, high fiber, and that's good. You know, the higher mm -hmm. the fiber, the better, the lower the sugar, the better. Um, yeah. And carbs come from the ground. So that's carbs and then protein or, and then fats, fats are just basically, you know, um, just fatty acids that, uh, that come from, you know, like avocados, right? Nuts. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what it comes from, to be honest, but I know avocados have it, you know, nuts. It's basically what it's, you know, what's surrounding mm -hmm. it. Uh, it mm -hmm. keeps the things like our skin has oil, right? Like mm -hmm. our skin gets oily. That's technically mm -hmm. a fat. So it's keeping everything moi mo moisturized. Um, you know, fats, good, healthy fats are good. Mm -hmm. Healthy fats are good. Um, you know, the bad fats, which are like, you know, sour cream or like, uh, you know, really heavy cheese. Like if you think of like nacho cheese or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm only saying that cause I love nacho cheese. That's one of my weaknesses. I love nacho cheese. What do you I'll think about the oils that, uh, like, for example, I saute the vegetables and things like that? Olive what oil? should I be? I think olive oil is better than vegetable oil. Uh-huh. Um, I, I like, didn't use vegetable oil, but I have used like canola oil, but if you think it's oil. better. Okay. Um, let me do some more research on that. Okay. Um, I just know that olive oil so far, like especially like extra yeah. virgin olive oil. Um, okay. Is good for you. Um, but let me double check that. Like I don't use vegetable oil anymore because I've heard of bad things that are put into it but I will do mm -hmm. more research because I, you know, I want to make sure I'm giving you the right answer here. Um, Thank you. Of course. Um, another thing that's, you know, in fats is uh, again, anything that I can keep it like moisturized. So like dairy, you know, so, cause that's obviously like with cheese or butter or milk, anything like that is going to yogurt, mm -hmm. um, you know, dairy will just go milk, cheese, uh, yogurt, um, Greek yogurt is, is one of the best yogurts to have Greek yogurt. Um, mm -hmm. it has a lot of protein for the amount of calories it has. Um, but that's basically what, you know, you want to look for is just how can I have, you know, um, the most like in my calories, 
the best type of foods, so like the most protein, the best type of fats and the best type of carbs. So obviously, mm-hmm. you know, you have, you have people, which I'm sure, you know, you've heard before that they say like, uh, I'm on the keto, no carbs, or like I'm, I'm, you know, no fat diet or something like, I don't, I don't personally believe that we should restrict a macronutrient since there's only three mm-hmm. that we should subtract a whole third of our nutrients out of our diet completely. Um, no, and I, I have history of like really restrictive and it just led me to go back, you know, and get worse. So um, I feel, I feel like it has to be a really long term, not like just thinking, you know, short term. Right. What yes, is doable. Something I just told you. Um, so I put on your text, I'm good. Uh, I didn't mean to do mm-hmm. it in all caps, but my cap locks is on because I'm doing this. Um, is when you feel that craving too, is just say, I'm good. But I don't need it. I'm good. Mm-hmm. Cause sometimes we feel like in our head that we need to do it. Like, oh, I need to, like, I, I feel it. So I need to do it. Our, our emotions don't need to be the same as our reactions. So if we emotionally feel like we need to do something, we don't necessarily have to react to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, no, that's a, that's a really good one to, to uh, practice. So just, I'm good. Like you, you, you crave, so I'm good. Cause then I'll tell your brain, like, I'm good. I don't need it. I'm good. Yeah. So, um, but is this all making kind of sense with the, with the fats and the, and the, um, yes, 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 it does. Okay. So fiber, just, you know, carbs, if you're looking for fiber foods and, you know, vegetables, carrots, strawberries, you want to make sure that you're trying to eat stuff more or less of sugary. So fruits have a little high in sugar, carrots, mm-hmm. cauliflower, broccoli, a little less. I literally, if you're hungry, have as much broccoli and carrots and cauliflower as you want. Like you can, you cannot overeat on those things. I promise you can, you will eat broccoli until you're full and you still will like not eat enough broccoli. Cause like it's, you can have like so much and it's like a hundred calories Yeah. But within those hundred calories. You have like 40 grams of, of carbs, 38 of its fiber. Oh, I see. You know? So if you can train your brain like for when I'm cutting, like, cause I go on my bulk, like right now it's bulking season for me. If you haven't noticed, I'm, I'm gaining a little bit of a little, you know, a little layers, <laughs> I'm gaining a little layers here and there, but it's bulking season. But if I'm, if I'm going to cutting, like you'll see this for me in January, February, March mm-hmm. is I train my brain to like vegetables more. Even if I don't, I just, I train. No, I, I, I like vegetables. I don't have a problem with vegetables. Okay. Oh, nice. Well, that's, yeah. that's rare. Yeah. That's, I never, I don't hear that that often. So that's. No, no, no. I like vegetables. It makes yeah. it easy. Good. <laughs> Good. Um, but uh, I really think that that will, if you just focus on, you know, the right types of carbs, the right types of fat, which you're already doing based off what you're sending me um, mm-hmm. and the proteins, you know, meats, just trying to have like the leanest meats, you know, like uh, fish is great. Um, chicken, chicken breast is great. Uh, turkey is great. And then chicken, you know, legs or thighs and then beef. Um, you know, I'll try to stay away from pork as much as possible, but like obviously that has protein in it as well. Um, and then again, like the pea protein, you know, if you have peas, that's, that's great. Um, and then dairy fats that's below, but dairy fats, you know, dairies also has some protein in it. So I'm not going to minus that totally together, but, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of like what you should be looking for. Would it help if I sent this to you? Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Of course. So macronutrients, I'll try to pretty it up a little bit. That's one protein. Oh, should I connect this? And fats. That's basically what you want to focus on. Try and get all the ones that we're talking about. What's happening? There we go. 
Um, file. PDF. And then where should I send it? Your email? Uh, sure. My email is, I think, what? A B R I L I L D E L A at hotmail.com. Oh, there we go. And then I'll just attach that. What is going on? So there you go, I just sent it to you. Well, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it for that, for the, for the, for the macros. You just, you know, those three things. And then obviously getting the micros in is very important too, but we can talk about that in another session. But I wanted to really focus on the macronutrients today because mm -hmm. that's where the calories come from. That's where you're going to see most of the body changes from. Um, you know, if, uh, if you feel like you're having too much fats in your diet, like too many nuts and too much avocado and too much dairy, you can add supplements. So you can add like fish oil, like the, mm -hmm. I take two of these pills in the morning. It's like mm -hmm. 30 calories and I'm good for my omega three fats for the day. Um, instead of having like a bowl of nuts, which is going to be like 300, 400 calories. So it just knocks oh off like 300 calories right there, 350. Um, you add that times up by seven, you know, it, it adds up Yeah, yeah. for protein. You know, you have a protein shake. Um, I don't have my protein shake with me, but I have my, so I always carry around my bag. So, you know, I'm, I follow my rules too, as much as I can, as much I, you know, I, I fall off here and there, but I have my, uh, my protein powder right here. Mm -hmm. So I take two scoops of that, which is about 32 grams of protein. And, uh, you know, 280 calories. Whereas if I were to have like, you know, 32 grams of protein with uh, a meal, you know, that's, you know, that's usually with like a chicken or beef. And then there's always like something with the meal, you know, that's usually going to be like 600 calories or more, 500 calories or more. So I'm, I'm cutting that in half by just having the protein shake. Now I want you to have more foods than supplements because obviously supplements are to just supplement a good diet. Mm -hmm. But if you have what you're having in the mornings, right? Like you're doing really good here. Can you still see my screen? You can't see my screen. No. All right. So now you can see my screen. So, you yeah. know, you see your foods here. You know, you're, this is great fiber and protein and all fats. Because the cheese, remember, it's dairy. So it's fats, proteins. Um, and then you're having the carbs within the fiber and the carrots. So that's a great snack mm -hmm. here. You're having the, uh, the sweet potato, which is great for carbs. Cause it's a, it's a good carb. Sweet potato is a good carb, uh, bell pepper, which is really not, it's more of a micronutrient. The bell pepper it doesn't really oh. have many calories to it, but it has a lot of vitamins in it has a lot of mm -hmm. vitamins, which is good. And that's going to help your energy levels. So when you're feeling tired or whatnot, it's like sometimes we're just deficient in vitamin B, you know, or vitamin B12. Okay. So um, bell peppers are good. Um, Jacama, is that a spice? Jicama. No, 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 it's that white uh, thing, kind of like, I'll show you. Jicama, maybe you know a different name. Oh, okay. It's a ball that I found in Trader Joe's that it was like really good. So sometimes like to get something easy, I will, this is jicama. Okay, and you shred it up and put it in there? Well, no, the, the bowl was made. <laughs> oh. Sometimes I find things that, you know, it's in the fresh section, but it's like nice just to toss it and. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then the four ounces of chicken, that's going to give you your protein, and then uh, the bean and corn. So, like, this is great. Like, the bean and corn has fiber. Um, this is a really good meal right here. Um, you know, this would be more, this is a great smoothie where I would have after your workout in the morning, you know, because your, your metabolism's fast. You just worked out. So everything that you consume is going to be used for energy and <laughs> your muscles. 
Mm-hmm. Um, Greek yogurt, amazing. Almond milk, frozen strawberry. Like, it's really good. Um, and then this is a great snack as well. Just, again, like, because it's, you know, not a bad protein. But technically, but- I should get rid of those, right? Like, the night thing. Ideally. Ideally, but, like, look. So, I have a, another client. I'm not going to show you everything. But, like, she had one of which she showed me her protein bar today, which she never showed me the back of it. But see this one? Chewy uh-huh. bars. I would rather you have your bar than this one. Oh, okay. Because this one has, uh, uh, has two grams of sugar, which isn't probably too bad. But six grams of protein? Are you kidding me? So, I mean, if you what, tell what me that 12? they're not. The, the other ones I told you that I bought. Um, and Here's I a box of protein. So, do you see the other ones I show you I have? I mean, you think, I mean, probably I may consume this and I'm not buying anymore. It's like with little by little. Um, mm-hmm. But the other ones I have, you think like really bad, I will like let them give it to somebody else who can use them. Like this one. Uh, it has, uh, wait. So, it's 17 grams of carbs. Just one fiber, two grams of sugar. Doesn't sound too bad. Two, just two grams, grams of sugar? Protein. Two grams of sugar and protein, 20 grams. And, you know, as, as I told you, I, I just get... 200 half calories, it. it says? 200? Like, to have yes, but I will get half of it. So I would say, let's say, like, you're working a lot during the day, like the kids, and you don't have food for a long time, that's when you uh-huh. have that. Oh, okay. So that's more of like a meal replacement. I see. Mm-hmm. And the other ones I got, it's, one second. This is the Kerlang brand. Can I see on the back? Sorry. No, it's okay. Or do you want to read me the back? Do you want to read it to me? Yeah, so this one says 190 calories. 60 from fat, um, so six grams of fat. Uh, what was the other part? Protein, 21 grams, fiber, 15 grams. 15? 15, yeah. 15 grams? Yes. Fiber? Yes. That's a good one. Yeah, actually, my neighbor, which she's diabetic she's you know sometimes i help right and she got them into like oh this may be a good option that's a good option 15 grams is is, is a lot of uh, fiber in a bar i've never that's good yeah wow so yeah i would definitely eat those over the other ones okay so but you said like that will be more like you know one day for some reason, you know, you don't have to sign for something, so. Exactly. And technically, that, that would be like your whole meal? That plus maybe some some vegetables, if you have something like that. Like, that plus maybe something little. Like, oh, I wouldn't say that's the whole meal, because that's just not oh. a meal, but. I mean, oh. not that I'm going to do it, but, you know, like, to know what to do in case. Like, you if know, you have like, that whole bar with the 15 grams, maybe that's that's a whole mm-hmm. meal. But the two hundred, the okay. two hundred calorie one, that's definitely not. Well, this one is uh, around the same calories. Then definitely not. Then definitely. Oh wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Kirkland, bravo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed, Kirkland. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean that's. I I think you're doing a phenomenal job right now with your foods. I just think we just need to stay consistent. Right? Yeah. Consistency is key. Consistency is key. Um, I'm sending you one of these. That's, that's what I'm sending you. I'm sending you a, a consistency band. So on one side, oh. that's why I asked for your address. So on one side, it says oh, consistency okay. is key. Mm-hmm. And on the other side, it says be certain. Mm, nice. So these bands I wear every day. Um, I was not a certain, I was not confident as a kid. So these really helped me out. And then, you know, the more consistent you are, the more certain you'll be. So it's kind of just like a circle. Like you're certain you're consistent. You're mm-hmm. certain you're consistent. Um, so I'm, that's, that, that's what I'm sending you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, is there anything else besides, and, and then you're doing the baseline te- test tomorrow? 
Yes, I will do that tomorrow. Um, You'll film it? I mean, yes, I will. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really self-conscious about pictures and videos, but I will do it. I know, just for you. Just for me. Um, what I was going to say, obviously, I cannot film the the running. Uh-huh. Uh, I will do my best. Even, you're going to you laugh. You don't have to film the running. I don't... You don't, huh? film, uh, you don't have to film the running. Just just take a picture of the of the watch after the yeah. running. I don't even know if I can run that long. That that's how bad I am right now. But I you know I will do my when, best. When's the last time you ran? Oh, that was two years. Because I don't want I, I do I do not want to hurt, get hurt. I want to still stay healthy. So run as long as you can. If you can do it, great. If you can't, just figure out how far you ran. Okay. And then let me know. Take the picture, wait a minute, wait three minutes. Okay. Take your pulse again, check the heart rate, or you know, if it has the mm -hmm. heart rate on the watch, do the picture, um, but do three minutes, because one minute's too short, do three minutes. Okay. Um, and then what I basically want the video of, I don't need the run, but what I do want it of is, I want, the body weight squats. Mm -hmm. So I'll put notes here. Trainer note, this workout's note. But I was confused. The first one, it says each leg, but you're using both legs. Body weight. Oh, I just meant, I meant on the body weight single leg. My bad. Here no, no, no. Just that. I thought maybe I, right, I, right. I didn't, I didn't I, understand. Um, each leg. Whoop. So 10 reps, body weight squat, just film that one. And then I want to film the uh, film this body weight single leg, film the push-ups. And then you don't have to film the wall sit. Not the full thing, because it's going to maybe be like 30 seconds to a minute or two minutes. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But just film. film cause I want to see how low you get. I just want you to make, I just want to make sure you're getting low enough on that. Oh, okay. So I want your legs to be, you know, like if you're on the wall. You can see me here. So this is how most people will do it, is they'll come to like right here, but I want you down here. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, like if you were really sitting at the level of your knees. Yes, exactly. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. that was cute though, his name's Cooper. What's up? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cute. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, make sure you're getting low enough. If I, I trust you if you just, you know, no, send it to me. Send them all to me, but you don't have to film the run. You don't have to film the run. No, 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 no. I mean, I, I wanted to be honest to what you okay. do. No, I don't know what's going to happen, but yeah, I, I will do as much as I can and see what distance I did and how was my heart rate Perfect. immediately and after three minutes. Perfect. You're the best. And, and what time do you think you're going to do this tomorrow? Oh, I'm going to do it first thing in the morning because first technically thing. I'm working all day. Oh, you're working tomorrow. Do you work every day? Do you have any days off? No, no, no. This was, uh, well, I, I don't know because technically they were going to go to Sonoma, but how they're going to go with the, oh, no, with the smoke? So I have the hunch that they're going to cancel me, which it would be bummer because I was counting with that money, but we'll see. As, as right now, they haven't canceled. Well, let's hope. Thank you. I'll pray for you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, is there any questions you have uh, for me before we go? Uh, no, no, no. Thank you so much. I mean, I, any questions, I will send it. And when you get a yes. chance, uh, absolutely. You will let me know. And you've been doing a great job with the, with the food sending. You've been doing phenomenal. So I, so I just want to give you props for that. I want to acknowledge that you're doing oh, a good job. Just heads up, like mostly is every week is going to be almost the same thing because I prep for the whole week. So good. don't expect too much clarity, <laughs> but you know, for it's, me, it, it works so far. Oh, it's okay. I love, hey, consistency is key. As long as I'm getting the pictures, that's, I just want the consistent routine. I just want the routine. Yeah, no, no, All right. Okay. Thank I'm really you proud so of you, Agrio. You're doing so good. I'm really excited for you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. After the baseline test. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have a good, good night. night. <laughs> talk to you, you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye.